the place where the stars of tomorrow first start to shine. Where you can first watch Trevor throw a touchdown. Or Justin make a man miss. Or Clowney blow up a backfield. Way before they become national champions or first overall picks. You can learn their names before they become household ones. In their hometown, in front of their home fans. And today we have two of the best in the country when it comes to providing next level talent. It's St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Francis next on ESPN. We welcome you to the 2021 Geico ESPN High School Football Kickoff presented by the United States Marine Corps. What a terrific matchup here in the fertile recruiting grounds of South Florida. St. Thomas Aquinas hosting St. Francis Academy out of Baltimore. The defensive coordinator for the Raiders and his defense about to take the field for the first time. His son Mason had a Catch on the opening drive, talented tight end, headed to LSU. He had a son who was a safety a year ago on this program. Now Mason, the senior, playing on the offensive side of the ball. As I mentioned, though, a different, different side of the football than his father, but he's got some of that length and tremendous physical upside there at the tight end position. But this defense led by Taylor, they like to be aggressive. They like to bring pressure. You're already seeing some early movement. Fumble into the end zone, John Griffith lost it. St. Thomas Aquinas might have it. Waiting for the official score. This should be a touchdown. Kyrie Samuel, the senior, at the end of the pile, and there it is, the official word. Jason Taylor's defense dials it up. Defensive touchdown on their first snap of the game. Right at the top, partner, I said that our kickoff weekend or the high school football showcase, he has been near quarterback since his freshman year. Hands it off on first down. This is Teron Kelman. Keeps his footing, lowers his shoulder, powers through for a first down. Great hard run by the senior, Teron Kelman. You mentioned it, Greg. Start a play here, first and 15. Hankerson speeds through the gap. Still making people miss. He is a bulldozer out of that backfield. A gain of 12 makes it second and three. Yeah, only 5'8", about 185, but you see the aggressiveness that he runs with. He runs like he's about 6'1", 200 pounds. Really nice cut, Make, uh, taking the football back up the middle than the way he's lowered his shoulder and finished that run. Five carries for 30 yards from the senior. Three-star running back. Play action here. Turner rolls out plenty of time, unloads to the end zone. It's caught wide open. Isaiah Harge for a St. Thomas Aquinas touchdown. Kelman still with it. Burst of speed down the sideline. Shrugs off a tackler. Two men trying to take him down, and they finally do inside the five yard line. What a run. One time they feel like they have a roster with two quarterbacks that can help them win. And they actually had some packages created for him today. Now, first snap, hands it off, and it's into the end zone for a touchdown. Darion Lewis, the linebacker, actually lining up at running back to power that one in for the first Panthers score. Well, they got their backup quarterback. They like his future, but they kept it simple for him, brought in a big. Second and 10, Turner, pocket collapsing. It's intercepted. Tried to flip it out, and Michael Vincent read it the whole way. St. Francis ball in great territory. Chose to put it up in the air with a quick hitter. And that's St. Francis Academy able to generate a turnover. He's going to throw it right over the middle. His running back, Terrell, is not even looking for it. His back is still turned. Vincent, though, 
did have his eyes on it, able to make the catch. It's a game of this drive. Going for it on fourth and four. Quick hitter. Here's Lamar Patterson. Needs four yards. He's got it. A burst of speed. Galloping into the end zone. Touchdown, St. Francis. Lamar Patterson showing off the extra burners. Took it on fourth down. Busted through. Really out. He's mentioned a great job by Turner of keeping that play alive. There was a free defender rushing off the edge, bearing down on him, and he was able to keep it alive enough just to get the football off. Probably figuring he was going to throw it away, but drew the flag. So what should have been fourth and goal, fourth and 11 turns into first and goal. That's incomplete. I'll say this, they, they got to get that right side blocked. It's the second play in a row that a defender has come off the right side from St. Thomas Aquinas. Now hold on. Unlike college, you only get the yardage. You don't get the first down so that was actually third down we've got a fourth down coming and St. Thomas Aquinas is going to opt to just take the three points here with new kicker sophomore Michael Kern 24 yard attempt from the near side hash and Kern fires St. Thomas back in front with a made field goal Thomas Aquinas touchdown. They have responded brilliantly in this first half. Opportunity to take the lead for the first time today. Plenty of room on the edge, turning the corner, stepping on the gas. Darrell Robinson finally wrapped up and dragged down inside the 25 yard line. 49 yard gallop from the sets up. A second and seven inside the 10. St. Francis looking for their first lead of the game. Kelman gets the give, bounces outside, speeds into the end zone. Teron Kelman, touchdown. First lead of the game for St. Francis after falling down by two touchdowns. They have roared back. Jeter to keep plays alive, create second opportunities. The athleticism there kind of mixed with the poise to keep those plays alive. Moves out of the pocket, buys himself time, steps into it, throws, it's caught. Mason Taylor again into enemy territory. 10 seconds left after that 23 yard per commit. He's all the way at the top of your screen at six foot three. Probably the guy Turner will lock in on. Taylor on that side as well. Pressure coming, Turner steps up, slings it, it's caught for a touchdown! Right at the end of the first half. Jalen Sanchez left wide open, and St. Thomas Aquinas grabs the lead. And partner, we talked about the poise of Turner. They were looking to roll right, they had their really comes from IMG Academy where he was very successful as well. So he gives him a nice one-two punch along with Anthony Hankerson. He would start just about everywhere in the country. Here's Terrell again. Moore dragged him down from behind. Got the first down. The Terrell would start pretty much everywhere in the country, but you got Anthony Hankerson in front of you here, but getting a couple of good carries. Yeah, he was able there to kind of get free, but to the outside, and by the time he made the tackle, several yards gained as he did not have the inside support there. But one of the things I love about Moore, and you saw it there, the effort. He was on the outside, play went inside of him. He got rid of the blocker, gave the hustle to get downfield to make that tackle. There's Moore trying to split between. Turner keeps it himself, goes the opposite way of Moore, dives. Did he get in? Yes! Touchdown, St. Thomas Aquinas. Zion Turner ran the opposite side of Derek Moore and found Pater. It's a warm day to be doing a lot of push. He's probably hoping, all right, let's take it easy on the scoring. It's kind of warm today.
coming. Got to get to the 15-yard line to move the chains. Griffith steps up, fires a missile. Did he hang on? Yes, what a catch. Elijah Surratt diving effort to haul that one in at its first and goal inside the five after a big gain of 27. Nice job by the big guys up front. They're going to give a pocket and then drives it downfield. Surratt with his right hand is able to get it. I'll tell you what, there's nothing there to say that he didn't make that catch. Watch that right hand. Stabs it, brings it into his body, gets his arm underneath. First and goal over the goal line, and it's a fumble. Darren Lewis lost it, running back the other way. St. Thomas Aquinas, Jordan Whiteley, flags flying. The 20-yard line inside the red zone. Last time they were here, they fumbled on the one-yard line, got to find a way to punch it in. End around to Lamar Patterson. Jumps over, flipped in the air. Upended. Fortunately, everybody's okay. Scary moment there for Patterson, who went soaring after the hit. Yeah, they're going to try to get him out here on the edge. Watch him go down. The defender's going to come up. He's going to try to hurdle him and does not and gets hit in the back from King Mac as he's going down as well. I like that's it. scary. Right, luckily, everybody popped right up. Patterson in motion. They fake it to him. This time, Griffith keeps it. Steps up in the pocket, breaks two tackles, still chugging along before he's wrapped up by Jordan Whiteley. He's about a half yard shy of that first down marker. Third and inches upcoming for St. Francis. And another player down. It's the fifth player to go down in the second half. Heat and humidity continue to be a big factor down the stretch. It just shows these players giving maximum effort in the first game of the season. Conditioning might not be where they want it yet. Well, we've seen all the big plays today, so you know both of these teams kind of leaving it all out there. Half so through three quarters, now into the fourth. Love to uh, St. Francis head coach, Messiah Hallamarian. Oh, he's been the first guy out there every time. Stretching those guys out, helping out. Head coach doing a little bit of everything. Does a really outstanding job with that program. Had a chance to kind of get to know Masai on the camp circuit. Puts a lot of coming now for St. Francis. Yeah, doing a nice job of getting some push inside, which has been tough to come by today. Got the strength to Griffith's right, see if they try to get him out to the edge there, to his right. Griffith holds on to it, pressure coming, gets rid of it, it's tapped and caught by an offensive lineman. Gain of one brings up fourth and four. What do you do here, Craig, trailing by 11? Yeah, I think in this situation here, there's a lot of football left, but you gotta try to go for the big points. This is, too, an interesting situation where that miss over troubles as well, but we're going to try to just grab the three points, cut the lead down. 22-yard field goal attempt for Andre Jendayan. Swings his leg through it, and it is good. So a one-score game down by eight. They can get the ball back, score a touchdown, convert the two-point. We would have a tie ball game. I understand kicking the what would have been a game clinching catch. One on one. See him, he's going to lay out. It's like tough to tell. From there, obviously, you see the ball continuing to move as he's rolling over. See a better shot here. Extends, brings it in. Oh, wow. he might have caught that football. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's anything you can see. Obviously, the official there on the spot that you could see that would say that he did. It looks like, I mean, it is, he kind of knocks it to himself. I mean, that's a tough, that's a really tough call. No replay in high school football, yeah. so incomplete uh, is the call that will stand. Second and 10 upcoming. John Turner. 
Third and goal. Pitch out to Terrell. Cuts it up. Fighting through traffic, trying to plow into the end zone. Did he break the plane? Yes! Touchdown, St. Thomas Aquinas. Xavier Tyrell, listen, somebody tell him he's only 5'9", 180, because the way he carried that pile into the end zone, kept fighting. See, they're going to toss it out to him, get him out on the edge. That St. Francis defense is going to make contact with him. See, he keep driving, driving the will, the fight. He pushes it across the line. Xavier Terrell, who was at IMG Academy a year ago. They have a national team, which is the one you watch on TV. They also got a varsity squad. And when Xavier Terrell was on that varsity squad, he set the rushing record there at IMG. Really talented young man. There you saw the big heart and the fight to get that in. Pitching it out to the edge. See there, Derek Moore, the Oklahoma commit in pursuit. They're going to make contact. Keeps driving those legs. See Julian Armella, number 75, in there, trying to help push. 